So you've seen your doctor, you were, you have depression, you were smart enough to go see your doctor or nurse practitioner or PA and say, hey, I think I've got depression symptoms. Or your provider was smart enough to see that you had some depression and talked with you about it and you started some medication. Let's say your medication is not working, do you quit? No, you do not because you need to go back and see your provider. You need to talk with them. You know, we have a lot of different medications that we can use to treat depression. And those medications uh, sometimes work better for one person than for another. Sometimes those medications have side effects in one than they do a, another. There's a lot of misconception about side effects. People think, oh, if this is a side effect that's known to be associated with a certain medication, that doesn't mean you're going to get it. The great majority of side effects occur in way less than 10% of people who take the medication. If it's much higher than that, it's a bad side effect. They're probably not even gonna allow that medication to be issued. So uh, go back in, talk with your provider about what your problem is. Is it that you're not tolerating and you have a side effect? This is the problem that you are not responding or you're not responding enough. Sometimes we adjust the dose. Sometimes we add something to it. Sometimes we change the medication altogether. Uh, so it's a really important you give your provider an opportunity to talk with you and change, change things up. We also have other non-medication treatments that we can use. Those are usually reserved for people who either have very severe depression uh, or people that have failed multiple uh, modalities of treatment. We also have testing that we can do uh, by doing a cheek swab and getting cells that can tell us if you're somebody that metabolizes or breaks down medication differently than other people. So perhaps we can predict frequently actually Perhaps we can predict that you are somebody that needs to try medications that are not typical for what we might try otherwise because your body doesn't metabolize them normally. So give your provider a chance to change your medication uh, to something different or change the way that you're taking it. I also like people to know, make sure that when you go in with your depression symptoms, you let your provider consider other things. For example, if you have poor sleep, which is frequently associated with depression, Perhaps it's a good idea for your provider to give you some medication to help you sleep for the first few weeks until those medications kick in for your depression. Depression medications usually take a little bit of time to act. Uh, also, if you're somebody that has something else going on that affects your moods like hormone changes because you're a teenager or you're menopausal, if that's going on, sometimes it helps to have your hormones adjusted just to help you feel better and get out of your depression funk a little bit faster. So a lot of different considerations, but the take home message here is if your depression medication is not working for you, don't just stop it. Go back in and see your provider and talk with them and let them have an opportunity to change things to make you feel better.